Hey y'all, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is Quantum here, and um, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on keyframing in Cinema 4D and making an intro. Um, I'll probably be three part, no, two part, two, probably yeah, two part tutorial. One in Cinema 4D, um, and then one in After Effects and Sony Vegas. So to get started with, we want to start off with the text. Uh, you can uh, just either go to MoGraft, MoText, or if you want to hardware, you just go to this, then find text, then drag it, uh, click extrude nubs, then drag it into the extrude nubs. You can do that, but I just prefer to go to MoGraft text and just align it into the middle, and uh, find a decent font that you'd like. So, me, I'm just gonna use. Um, uh, Moloch, I like Moloch a lot, Moloch a lot, Moloch, Moloch, anyways, enough for the gibberish, and just change it, and oh, usually I start off with my render settings, but since it's my first toil, I'm a bit nervous, so, go to your render settings, go to output, film, video, and then go to HDV slash HDTV 720 29.97, and then yeah leave that like that and then change the frame rate to 30 and then just leave that for now and then you go to save quick time movie alpha channel straight alpha and then save it as whatever you want so I'll just an in intro tut and then save it and then just X off this Oops, sorry and once that's done you just wanna the font here you just wanna like just this, I'll go to the depth of 60, uh, fill a cap, fill a cap, increase the steps to about 3, yep, and uh, just drag it in the middle a little bit, yeah. So, what you want to do is, I'll just use the text or I might change it to, um, change it to QGFX alright then once it's done like this you can go to your word just click on it press C and that makes it fully editable like each letter one by one editable so just get that drag them out here and just delete this don't like having that so with the text um, I'll just start the keyframing process then um, changes to 150. All right, with this text, what you're gonna do with this is, I'm going to drag it out to about here. But first, before I do that, just Control Z. I'm just gonna find out what angle I'm gonna be bring it in by, like, so 45 degree, uh, minus 45. Yeah. Drag it down a bit. No, 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 no. Minus 35. Minus, minus 30 is fine, so I'm just going to drag this out. Drag this out the scene. And then just keyframe it at that. And as you can see, once it's keyframed, you can see those, all these go red then drag it to about 35 frames and then just drag it back into the uh, actual uh, bring it back into the actual like screen area where fuck you know excuse my language excuse my french just let me just sort this out um, let me just look at the coordinates of this one just Once that's like that, just put that back to zero, drag it in, drag it in about there, that's fine, let me just check if it's fine, yeah that's fine, drag it in, then click on the cure, then keyframe that, 
and then as you will see it will come in like this like that you can drag the keyframes forward if you make want to make it come in slower like so like that with this one it's just a simple one just drag it out oh god drag it out go to zero um, put zero keyframe so the text should come at the same time like that with this one just do the same again just drag it out so like so drag it on like that and then um, with the F just keyframe and then bring it to frame 53 then just zero then keyframe so these should just come in at about the same time no you want, I want the F to come in a bit after so there we go and then with the X um positive 35 degree angle yeah so that's fine so click back to zero click it out drag it out a bit drag it out the scene and then keyframe it at zero and then about 60 65 zero uh, Zero. Oh, but let me just zoom out a bit. See where this is. Let me see. Zero. Let me just adjust this properly. That's definitely wrong as you can see, so just control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, just undo all that, I've keyframed that wrong, absolutely wrong. Keyframe that. Once everything is in, just drag it. and keyframe that so as you can see it comes in like that not so good but you know so gonna add some text now I'm gonna add some text some colour so just I think I'll go for a blue colour so I'll just go to colour blue um, reflection drag that down to about 50% then add it for now, leave like that. So I'll take off specular and here we go. And then with the black, 
I'm just gonna add a black blank reflection. Fifty percent specular off. And then just select on all hit there. Select all click R uh, one capital R one. Oh god, sorry. Then render that out. Oh god, what's going on now? Then I'm going to add an overhead softbox. And that's pretty much it. Render that out, see how it looks. Looks good. And then go back to your render settings. Earlier on, you know, I said leave this, but just drag it to zero, then drag it to 150 because that's how many frames the thing is going to be. Composition, and then just hit Shift and R, and it should start rendering. And I will be back when it's finished rendering. And I am back, and as you can see, this is what we have when we finish rendering, and that's a pretty decent looking intro. I'll play that again, like that. Um, part two, I'll be showing you what to do in After Effects and stuff like that, and Sony Vegas and adding sound effects into it. I will add this pro this project file in the description, and then you can change like mm, maybe you can. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, no, nah, no, actually, I won't. Um, I, I won't be able to anyway, because you won't be able to change the font from here, so. I won't add this project file in the description, so you'll have to just learn step by step. But check, thanks for watching this tutorial, and watch out for part two. And cheers.